Ha! Today I am working on a little like hanger closet. Is that the technical word for it? Hanger closet, a place to hang pants, shirts, and uh, dresses if you are a woman out on the road in my bus. So we're gonna be very small, but hopefully a very quick project. I thought I was gonna be able to fit in here, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, this is where my clothes hanger is gonna be. Um, it's only gonna be able to hold like five or six garments, but it's okay. Oh my God, I need to get out. All I'm gonna make is like a floor piece, a top piece that goes into this bit, which is why the front of my bed um, has different uh, sizes on like these guys, um, because I just wanted to save a little bit of space and use the back of the bed that goes straight into this bit. And then blah, 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 blah. I should have a cute little um, place to hang my clothes instead of just shoving them into drawers. 500. Ida saw, unreal. So good. What we've got here, ladies and gentlemen, is the top of the thing that I'm making. What am I making? Clothes hanger thing. So that'll sit like that, with a thing on top, and then, hey, excuse me. Boom, 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 boom. You know Bob, he's your uncle. So what I just saw out there was four little corner joints. Um, so if this is my, the top of my thingy here, I can just, Screw that way, that way, that way, that way. Just makes life a little easier. After you do all that, then you get something like this. I actually uh, got rid of the plan halfway through, as you can see. These are done, but then this is done like that. <laughs> that uh, will happen when you've got a very short attention span. What I need to do now is um, find the center of the piece that runs this way um, so I can put a bit of dowel in. This is Dow, that's gonna sit straight through there like that. And Bob will still be your uncle. So 274 is halfway like that, bang. All right, the hole goes through. Just tried to um, size it up in the bus and I realized that I'm about 15 to 30 mil out. That's a lot, yes, but <laughs> shouldn't be that much, Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna cut that now and I'll uh, get back to you. I bloody dang goofed it. So bottom piece goes from there like that and sits like there. And this top piece goes in, oops. Right there, I'll have another bit of 15 mil ply that goes down there as a side. Chuck the top on top and it will look pretty good. And that goes on there, yeah, that's the way you do it, bro. That's the way you do it, brother. All right, what have we got now? This is the top piece, obviously the dowel goes through here and all the way through here, but just so I can grab onto the, what will be the top of this, this side facing me and not facing you as the top. It's gonna screw in from the bottom so I don't have any screw marks. I hate the look of screws on the outside. So I'm just trying to uh, eliminate that. And once I chuck on uh, the top, we'll be looking hunky dory. I've decided to put a little bit of MDF, um, like spray painted black, between this and the top. So it'll look like this as the top, spray painted bit of MDF, and then on top of that will be the um, plywood. So I need to work out how big, how wide my MDF is. I've just got two pieces of off, off cuts because this will, the sides will butt up against like this. Jamie, can you be my assistant, please? Tie it against there, what have we got? 345, that is fine, 345. 548, that'll work it out. Uh, 345, 548. Yeah, that's what you get for cheap tools. Whoa. 
So while that's drying, I'm gonna cut the side piece and then um, hopefully secure it into the bus. And then from there, I'll uh, put the top piece on. I just wanna make sure I know exactly what the measurements are before I put the top on um, and cut the top out. So let's cut the side. <sighs> The big cut happened and I didn't film it. A moment of truth of sorts. I have to screw this piece into this piece and hope that it works. That's flat. I stink. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the next time you'll see this, uh, hopefully it's got heaps of clothes in it. And uh, I've just got to put a curtain across, but I don't have the curtain yet. Uh, so when I have the curtain, I'll put it across. Give my clothes a little bit of privacy because they deserve it. That's the end of this video, bye. I used to do that. What am I, a bloody YouTuber in 2016? So yeah.